guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a little bit different um i kind of wanted to step away from like beauty and makeup and cosmetics and like all that fun stuff um because i wanted to like take a minute to share with you guys two books that have really impacted my life and really made a positive change in my life um and i don't know i just kind of want to give you guys my thoughts on these books and why i recommend them and what I've seen in my life that's already changed just from reading these books. So yeah, so today's gonna be a little bit different. If you guys are interested to see what I have to say about these two books, then keep watching. So the two books that I want to talk about are the You Are a Badass books. They are by the author Jen Cicero. So the first one is the original You Are a Badass. I know I'm like a few years late. I think both these books came out in like, I think this one came out in 13, and this one came out in like 14 maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But this was the first one that I read, and then I literally just finished this book. Now, both of these books pretty much talk about the exact same thing, but they are different in certain aspects. I'm going to get into it. So, the first one, I've heard a lot of people mention it, talk about it, and, like, number one, I think it's just, like, the cover itself and just the wording is very, like, attractive. So, like, you see this book and you're kind of like, hmm, that looks like a book I want to read. So, I picked it up, and I honestly finished it in maybe... I took a little bit longer because I had a lot of stuff going on, but I literally made it like a priority to kind of like read it every single night before I would go to bed. And then I started reading it every single morning as well. And pretty much what this book, uh, what this book talks about, the first one, pretty much just says like, love who you are, embrace who you are. Don't be like ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Like just be who you are and just like, don't self deprecate yourself and just kind of like, step outside of your comfort zone and just kind of separate yourself from like the negative people and just like remember that like you are like the only one of you and like what you feel is important and what you want is important and with this book I found that it honestly really helped me with my anxiety. Before reading this book um, I haven't been through like anything like crazy traumatic in my life. I don't want this to be like a woe is me type video, but I have had some unfortunate events in my life, which I'm not going to get into, but I have had some of them in my life and it has impacted me. It has given me anxiety. It's made me doubt myself. It's made me like in fear of living my life to my full potential. So reading this book, I really saw a positive change in my attitude. Like typically I would work, I would work my minimum of four hours. I would come home, I would literally nap for like three hours, and just kind of like, I wouldn't say I was necessarily depressed, but my anxiety was definitely taking a toll on me. Like, I would call out of work all the time because I would psych myself out so bad about working that I would like give myself migraines. And that still happens from time to time, but it's not as frequent as it used to be. Like, I used to like get so anxious for work and be like, oh my god, I can't do it. I can't like I'm working nine and a half hours tomorrow oh my god how am I gonna do it like I literally used to go into pure panic mode and with reading this book it really showed me that like you don't have to be so like scared like you you make your own reality like you are in charge like this is your ship this book also talks about following your dreams and following your heart and not being scared of it and I'm not saying that I was ever like I of course in the beginning I was a little intimidated by YouTube and getting like putting Getting, like putting myself out there, being on camera, and just like I was a little intimidated and there would be some times where I'd be like, like I don't want to film, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, I don't want to say this in a video, I don't want to talk about this just because I'm so scared of putting myself out there and being vulnerable. But it's just like this book really talks to you, like talks you through that and really helps you just realize that you matter and like you are important and what you want is up to you and you create your own reality and just kind of just like screw the BS, screw what everybody has to say, like you are a badass, like take charge of your life and just remember that. Like I'm sure there's so many other things that she talks about in here, but I've kind of like forgotten some of it, but that's because I literally have been so into the second book because I just finished it honestly. This next one, oh my god, I seriously love this book. This one is You Are a Badass at Making Money, Master the, the Mindset of Wealth. Um, she really goes in depth about how to learn to love money and learn to not be scared of money and learn to who cares what people think. Like, I feel like, well not feel like, but what she says in the book is like, we're so trained to just be like, oh my god, like, if I say I love money and I want to be a millionaire, everybody's going to look at me and be like, oh my god, all you care about is money and this, this, and that. And that's not the case. 
you have to be in love with money and you have to accept money and good things will happen. I'm not saying that you need to be like, oh my God, I'm a millionaire and your life is gonna change. Like, no. It just really explains on how to like budget yourself and how to put all your focus and all your energy into like achieving whatever financial goal you want. That's pretty much what the end goal is. And honestly, I believe in everything, everything that this book says because I'm gonna give you like a story from my experience as I was in the middle of reading this book. So my sister is coming this, uh, what's today? She comes next week and she's staying with me for a month. So that's a long time and I took a lot of time off to be with her. So I'm not gonna be working as much, I'm not gonna be making as much money. And I was kinda like, not stressing, but I was kinda just like, damn, like it, this is gonna be hard to really like, it's another person in my life. It's kind of like my child. Like we're going to obviously want to go to the beach. We're going to going to want to go to theme parks. We're going to want to go to the mall and do all these different things. I'm obviously going to want to do amazing things with her and buy her whatever she wants. So I was kind of like, I got paid one week and I was like, oh my God, all my money just went to bills. Like this shit is, this is stressful. I'm going to have to work like overtime and like do all these different things. And I was, at, it's funny because I was actually waiting on my tax refund still because I had messed something up, so I had to like resubmit everything, and I had checked the status of it that day that I got paid when all my money had to go to bills, and I was like, holy shit, I'm not gonna get this money in time for her to come. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna panic. I'm gonna do exactly what the book says. Just put positive energy into the universe, and everything will come to you, and everything will be fine, right? That I know that sounds like a total bunch of BS, right? So I don't know if you guys saw the video where I posted where it was a day in my life. I got up and I kind of showed you guys what I do in my everyday life and whatever the case is. So the mail came that day and there was nothing for me. Literally it was like one thing of like junk mail. So I put it like on the counter where I always put the mail and that was it. I went about my day. I went to TJ Maxx. I went and hung out with my family. I got some coffee. I did a bunch of different things. So then it was like six of, oh, and I vlogged that entire day. And that entire day, I was in such a good positive and like positive mindset. I was just like, you know what? Everything's going to be fine. Like I have literally nothing to worry about. Like it's fine. I will figure it out. We're going to have a great time when she's here. No big deal, right? So when I went to, I actually broke my nail that day and I went to get it fixed. And then I went and I hung out with my family and then I came home. And when I came home, on where I put all the mail which that wasn't there before was a check with my name on it, like an envelope and it had my name on it and it was from like the IRS and I was like, oh my God, like shut up. Cause I had just checked the status of it that Friday when I got paid and like I said, it said, oh, we just, I just, we just processed it or something and you're gonna get a letter within three weeks and then we'll process your refund. And I was like, this shit's gonna take another six weeks. So that was Friday and then this is Monday. So I come home and I see this thing on the, the counter and I'm like, whoa, this was not here before. I checked the mail, there was literally nothing. And then this check is just sitting here, like no explanation, no nothing. And I, I opened it and I was like, oh my God, this is like the check. And I was like, I cannot believe that this happened. Like, see. That, I mean, a lot of you could say, oh, that's just like, it was bound to happen. Like you were waiting on it anyway. But the IRS website literally said it was going to take three weeks for me to receive paperwork and then another three weeks for me to get my refund. And I was like, damn, this really, really effing sucks. And then when I saw that, I was like, wow, that is crazy. And literally I had switched my mindset that Friday and I was just like, I'm going to be positive. I'm not going to think negatively. I'm going to figure it out. I have money saved. So I'm fine, I just didn't wanna to have to touch that money, if that makes sense. Like I have my savings account, I have my money, and then whatever. And I didn't wanna to have to touch what I had been saving. So when I got that check, I was like, oh my God, this is insane. And the craziest thing to me was, it wasn't there before I left. I seriously, I promise you guys, it was not there. And then I came home and it was magically there. And I was like, this is literally like the craziest thing ever. So these tips that she gives you in this book really do work in my opinion. Honestly, for a while, I kind of felt like I was falling off of like my channel. I was like, 
just having really bad anxiety and letting everything like take over me and whatever the case is and between reading both of these books I have seen such a positive change in my YouTube channel I've seen a positive change in my everyday mindset like I said I would come home from work and I would just kind of like sleep now I come home from work I film I clean I do so many different things that I wasn't doing before reading these like these self-help books and I see a huge, huge difference. I see a difference in the person that I am at work, the person that I am towards my family, the person that I am towards my boyfriend. I see such a huge difference. I'm just a happier person. I'm not saying I was like a miserable, like awful person beforehand, but reading this, like these two books, it's really shown me that like, you just have to like let go and just be positive and everything will come to you. You just have to open your heart and your mind to the possibility of change and everything and just loving who you are and great things will happen. Like another example from reading this book, um, the job that I have, I make an hourly and then I make commission as well. So I get my commission. So let's say this month's commission check or what I make in commission, I won't get to the end of next month, right? So May, which was last month, was my last big chance to really make a lot of commission before my sister came, right? So back to like the whole money thing. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna open my mind. It's gonna be like driven, right? And when I checked my commission at the end of the month, I was like, oh my God, this is another, like another point that I'm trying to make to you guys that like I just kind of like let go and was positive and was happy and things changed and that was the most commission that I've made in almost a year and a half just by me switching like my mindset and I was like oh my god this book is really making like changes in my life like I can honestly see the results and that's what these two books are about in my opinion this one is more so focused on loving yourself and anxiety this one is more so focused on just like loving money and accepting money and just being okay with wanting to make money that's pretty much what this book is about and honestly these two books have changed my life like I can't even explain it to you if you knew me you'd be like yeah like my friend at work is always like I see the difference in you like I for sure see that you're more positive you're more like open-minded and you're not as negative like I used to go into work and be like oh can I just go home like now I go into work and I'm like mm, whatever I'm gonna work three extra hours than I normally would and make extra money and then go home and still do stuff for my channel and still do stuff around my house and still get a lot of stuff done and that's the mindset that, I, that I've been in and I have seen so 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 many changes I seriously recommend both of these books to everybody around you to you guys to your family these two books are life-changing. I could sit here for the next 45 minutes and ramble on and on and on about different things that I learned from this book, different things that I learned from this book, but I don't think even me doing that would justify how life-changing these books are. Seriously, I highly recommend these to you guys. Um, if you're somebody that's down in the dumps, that's in a horrible financial situation, or you're just feeling like you're not good enough, definitely check these two books out because they're life changing. Seriously, I wanna show you guys one more thing before I end the video. So in that vlog, I was making a vision board and I never finished it in that vlog. But what I did was, um, for the first book, this one, they make like a bunch of different like inspirational posters and like little books with a bunch of little pins in it and magnets. So what I did was, this is my vision board right now. So here is the quote that says, be the woman you needed as a girl. This is a picture of me and my best friend um, on, a, on our last day of freshman year in high school. Then in the center, I have this magnet, and it says, you are a badass. And then right here, this says, feed fear a suck it sandwich, which is like so like funny, but like so true. And this is just a little pin that says, you are a badass. This says the same thing, feed fear a suck it sandwich. This one says, badass. This one just says, love yourself. And then this one says, loosen your bone, Wilma. And then... This quote right here is just says, it's going to be a goal-reaching, money-making, empire-building kind of year. And this is just a nice little cute card that my boyfriend got me when we first started dating. And then right here, I still have to print it because for some reason my printer is messed up. But right here, I'm going to put a YouTube play button for 10 million subscribers because that's really what my end goal is. I want to, like teach people about things and I want to be inspiring to people and I want my channel to grow because YouTube is genuinely what I'm passionate about and I'm not afraid to admit that anymore. Like I used to be so afraid to be like, oh my God, YouTube is everything that I want, but in reality it was and I would just kind of like push it down, push it down, but 
I'm putting a 10 million subscriber play button right here. And we are going to be there one day. Oh, yeah, you guys. So that is my, like, mini little book review on these two life-changing books. Um, I definitely recommend them. Like I said, I can't say enough good things about them. The, the one thing I love about these two books, the way the author, like, writes in them, it makes you so just into the book and you feel like you're like a part of what she's saying and you're you literally get so lost in everything that she says that in your like I'll find myself being at work and just thinking about something that I wrote in the morning or the day before and I'm like oh my god I really need to do exactly just like rethinking about it and honestly you guys won't be disappointed but yeah so that is all I have for you guys in this video I really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini book review let me know down below if you guys have read either of these books if you don't like self-help books let me know down below but please check them out. I don't even care if you're like a millionaire and you're the happiest person in the world. Check these out. I honestly recommend them. And I'm honestly going to reread them. I'm going to reread this one and I'm going to reread this one because I feel like they're the type of books we have to read more than once to really absorb everything that, like, that it's saying. But yeah, so other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't like too weird to you guys. I just really wanted to sit down and give you guys some advice, not really advice, but kind of tell you guys what's been helping me with my anxiety and what's just helping me have a po more positive outlook on life. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.